Hi folks, um, here's the 1930s, 40s vintage steamboat and um, it's got the um, Stuart Turner ST plant in it. Um, what I'm doing is um, I'm just fitting new o-ring to it and um, I thought I'd just show you this. Um, these engines uh, were made about um, 1929 so uh, sometimes it's better to um, sort of give them a bit of a service and put a new o-ring and new gaskets on and um, here we can see that um, here's the uh, here's the piston there like that and um, here's uh, the new o-ring and that's uh, from Stuart Turner and uh, uh, two o-rings and some gasket material cost uh, 13 pounds and two pence so um, w once this is in the boat will really go running really well so uh, I'm just going to put it together now Not. It's not in that. What's going on? This might be a bit. Uh, I can take it with my thought. Cylinder block. Help it a bit. I'm just going to put some on there as well. this bit is yeah um, I found it's best if you um, put the gasket on the bottom piston cover first and then line up your screws so we get the first one in like that. And if you just get the fur tool and just um, go into the hole, that will just help it to line it up. As you can see, I think there it's lined up now, and then it will take the screw. So uh, that's the second one in now, if you can see that, I'll try to do it with the camera. So that's the second one in, and then we move it down to the third one. Okay, you can see the hole there, it's all nicely lined up. But just get your burr tool. Just go through there like that. Okay. 
and then put your final screw in which should now hopefully go in pretty easily which it isn't doing if it isn't going through then just go back turn it over and just line it up with the burr tool again so you've got a nice hole and then you, you have to pinch the gasket against the wall of the piston plate and then just screw it in I think that's got it and then that's your gasket in and then you can just file it off when it's all finished and complete so that's that so then we can just put a bit of oil on here here we are so it's got a nice ride when it goes on a good tip is um, you know don't file these with a file or anything because these these have to be really flat so um, what I've done I've just put some oil on a cloth and just put it on a level glass surface and cleaned it that way and then you can just move that back to give your piston room to go in and your piston will slide in nicely and then it's just a question of lining up your screws okay and then screwing up and we're all in now and then just tighten them up Be careful not to over tighten them because these threads soon go away. And they're very small threads. I'm not sure of the size but probably a small BA size. And this is original from 1929 so just be a bit gentle with it. Because when it's on steam test, you can sort of play about with it and tighten these up a little bit if you have to. But really, don't over tighten them, else the thread will just go away and then you'll be in trouble. Here we are, look got a nice sound so it's obviously working and that's the piston in so that's how you change a gasket and an o-ring in a 1929 Stuart Turner ST engine and that's now complete um, I have got another gasket to put in the top but um, I'm not going to change that because under test 
this top gasket was fine and there's no leaks at all so you know there's no point in taking it to bits you know so um, just make sure that it's tight there we go that's fine and that's ready to go back in the engine now so so when you when you're setting that crank if you set this pin to about one o'clock that should line up that should line up with the um, opening port I'll try and show it you um, which is on this side so you've got um, there's the opening ports and there's the exhaust ports so that when you're fitting your piston in if you fit it so that the crank is about one o'clock then that'll line up with the um, being in line with the open port so it'll sit slightly at an angle like that and that'll be the best position for it um, because it will I mean it will work no matter where you put it but you know the revolution will will hit the uh, the point of where it will actually turn but if you set it to about one o'clock I think you'll get a better run time out of your steam so. Puts the piston back in now, so you can see that it's uh, it's set now. It's just a matter of putting the uh, the spring and the nut on the end, just to keep the um, the piston lined up against the uh, the steam plate. Hope you like that. Uh, sorry, it's a long video, but I think it may be worth it uh, for anybody who's um, thinking about um, you know changing O-rings and gaskets on these uh, Stuart Turner ST engines. And um, see you next time. Here's a picture of the boat. Uh, I will be making a new boiler for it actually, so uh, that'll be the next uh, video. Thanks.